Ari, why did you decide to rebrand the company and how did you go about choosing the name Stakeholder Foods? What do you think it means for the future of the company and your customers? Stakeholder Foods was created more than three years ago, originally uh, to change the way we consume meat. It was more focused inbound. Uh, as time has progressed, the company has grown. We've uplisted to the NASDAQ. We've raised a significant amount at the time. We've collaborated with the industry and the current name looks outbound. And the word stakeholder foods means that every person globally can join our dream in creating uh, meat in a more sustainable and up-to-date way. You recently raised six and a half million dollars from a single investor. Can you tell me about the rationale of the timing of that and the use of those funds? Sure. So um, we are an R&D company that has no income yet, but we are progressing in a very high pace and we foresee that in the near future we will see already first income from our products. So we, want, we wanted to raise an amount that will allow us to continue our R&D process, but at the time we took into account the market, uh, the, the market crisis that was worldwide right now, so we did not want to raise too much, but this amount will progress us and bring us to the next level. Talk a little bit about your plans to build a pilot plant in Belgium. So as I said, uh, we've purchased a piece of meat more than two years ago. It was a strategic uh, uh, purchase for, for uh, stakeholder foods. A uh, piece of meat has progressed a lot and it has reached the stage that it can already, already establish a pilot plant that positions piece of meat at the top of the hill with respect to cultured meat companies. Uh, the pilot plant is supposed to be finalized end 2023, beginning 2024. It will, be, it will have a capability of, of tons of cultured biomass production per year. And it will be a baseline for the stakeholder foods group to establish factories already that will produce cultured meat biomass worldwide. Which product and cell line are you most excited about right now? So uh, I think one of the uniquenesses of stakeholder food that we have a diversity of species that we are working on. So our Belgian company produces avian cell lines. Uh, we are working with, uh, with uh, bovine cell lines. We have also porcine cell lines. And uh, currently, uh, the last, I think, last few weeks, we've, uh, we've published that we are collaborating with a Singaporean-based company with fish cell lines. But we are addressing as much species as possible because as I said like our goal is a more global impact goal we are not looking only uh, we are not looking only at the price of a, of a specific species we are looking at the, the potential impact it can bring I think that what's excite me the most uh, are products that we are able to produce today to produce today that an animal cannot produce uh, we will publish uh, certain products in the future but I can say that with our printer and with our technology, we can deliver to the market products that a cow cannot deliver, and that a chicken cannot deliver, and that a fish cannot deliver. And I think that's the most exciting uh, thing for me, is to, to, to provide the market with exciting, up-to-date, tasty products. You've run a number of successful taste tests with hybrid products that combine plant-based protein and your cultured chicken fat. What do you see is the future for hybrid products like these? I believe that the hybrid products are the near future of cultured meat. I think that uh, the plant-based products were first step towards products that are cultured products. I think that the hybrid products are step number two meaning that it's products that are plant-based and they contain a certain percentage of biomass. This certain percentage is magic added to a plant-based product. It, taste, it, it changes the taste, it changes the aroma, and cost-wise, I foresee these products to be the first products that will enter the market, and I think the impact will be amazing. And as time will go by, we will see more complex products, meaning products that, are, that contain a larger, higher uh, percentage of biomass, and in the future we will see more complex products, meaning whole cuts of meat. But for sure, it's like the most exciting products uh, to enter the market in the future will be, uh, I think, a diversity of hybrid products. I invite everyone to become a stakeholder, join our mission, join our revolution.